Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, as we mentioned, we promised amazing startups and you know groundbreaking ideas. And I, let me introduce you, Mike Davis. He has actually come and presented uh, uh, actually as a serial entrepreneur. He has uh, been, you know, spending all his life in the healthcare industry, if I'm not wrong, in the health tech, at least. Uh, if I uh, understand correctly, you have been a specialist in uh, nanotech technology, and and uh, now you are embarking in something even more impressive and more amazing. You know, technology that I don't really fully understand, and I'm very excited to learn more about it today. Uh, I think you call it novel peptides. Is that correct? Do I say it properly? Peptides. Peptide. Uh, Peptides. 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 Yeah. Sorry for my French accent. Oh, that's um, okay. <laughs> Mike, tell us more about it. Uh, we are very excited to, to hear more about this amazing uh, uh, health tech development. Thank you very much, Stefan. Um, well, before I start, I want to just introduce myself. I'm Mike Davis. I'm the CEO and founder of Carousel Bio. I would very much like to um, thank, thank you, thank um, everybody for allowing me to come and present today. I'm not going to take a massive amount of time, but I can tell you all about what we're doing. So um, we're developing a new treatment that could really help treat atopic dermatitis, which is also known as eczema, very common disease, but it could also delay aging of the skin, which could be very exciting for many people, um, including myself, of course. Um, um, so um, let me just tell you a little bit what Eczema is eczema is a is a, an inflammation of the skin as you can see in this baby. It inflicts a lot of children. My children have atopic or had atopic dermatitis when they were younger, and it often gets better. But at least, at least, well, it's the numbers are growing. But the, the numbers out there say two to three percent of the adults worldwide. It's ten percent of the U.S. population that has eczema or atopic dermatitis and the best treatments at the moment are the topical what are called steroids and they work there's no doubt that they work but there's a huge but with the topical steroids in that they cause problems they cause thinning of the skin streaks in the skin the steroids can be absorbed into the skin and you get systemic problems they are they are the mainstay of therapy at the moment and mothers hate putting steroids onto babies' faces because they all know the problems of them. They also, of course, cause a premature aging of the skin, which nobody likes. Anyway, so, so that's, that's, that's the steroids for atopic dermatitis. They are relegated to second-line therapy because they are toxic. And the first-line therapy are just ointments and creams, which is really sad. And the third line are the what are called calcineurid inhibitors, which are anti-cancer drugs, and they are black boxed in the US, as in they are toxic. They have been shown to cause skin cancer. So why on earth would you want to do that? And that is why there are many companies trying to find a new safe topical steroid for mild to moderate atopic dermatitis. There's lots of people doing it because it's a big market. It's a $21 billion market but no one has got there yet and even brand new ones that have been have been announced earlier this year have toxic side effects they burn when you put them on the skin um, lots of different therapies all have side effects there is no safe effective treatment for mild to moderate atopic dermatitis Hence, when you look at clinicaltrials.gov, there are over 560 ongoing clinical trials, not only for new drugs, but also to try out old drugs, try out different ways, different, different things to find something no one has got there yet. There is no single safe, effective solution that has entered the market. 99% of the ongoing trials are with what are called small molecules. Um, a steroid is a small molecule. Uh, they're all small molecules. They all get absorbed into the systemic circulation and they all cause side effects. 
It's just what they've got to do over time is to demonstrate those side effects because some of the trials don't show them. So that's why they come out as safe, just like the calcineurin inhibitors came out, the new safe effective. Unfortunately, they cause skin cancer. So they cause problems. We, Carousel Bio, have something that is completely different. We have a what's called a peptide, which is a small protein. And we've shown that this small protein or peptide not only stops inflammation, it also prevents the activation of inflammation, such that we'll be able to treat atopic dermatitis, eczema, using it as a topical cream. We'll be able to treat it. And if you keep treating it, the data says it'll be about one, it will be once a day. If you keep treating it, you'll stop the disease coming back. And if you keep treating it, the science says you'll delay the aging of the skin, which could be huge. We know that if our peptide is, our small protein is actually absorbed into the systemic circulation, it won't be. But if it is, it is they will be instantly broken down into naturally occurring amino acids. And it will only work at the site that we put it onto because we will be topical. Um, in the UK, a worldwide known company called Boots have brought out a new, what they call a super peptide blend to repair the, the, the skin. Um, there's no science out there. There's nothing that you can find out about this, but they've come forward knowing that peptides are the new way forward in new, new, new treatments. And that is what Carousel Bio has. Our development to stage, we were founded in October 2017. In the UK, we got Innovate UK grants and we got we received seed investment. Um, I put in a little bit of uh, investment myself, of course, to get things off the ground, you know, classically called friends and family. And we've shown that we can deliver the peptide into cell as you into the cells, as you can see in the in in this uh, in this image, and we can deliver using the nanoparticle deliver, delivery into the target area of the skin, which is absolutely key. Uh, we've got patents. Um, we've got three that have been granted and two that are in progress. Uh, one has been submitted, and another one will submit later later this year. Um, what we've shown, not only in the cell models, we've also taken biopsies from patients with atopic dermatitis and put them into what's called a Fran cell. It, it's basically, if you imagine a, a, a figure U, a, a U with a membrane in the middle, um, you, put the, you put the sample onto the membrane and you can measure the inflammation markers in the in the in the chamber underneath you can literally measure them and in atopic dermatitis the, the measures of certain um, um, what are called pro-inflammatory cytokines certain measures of inflammation are very high we've then shown that once we put our peptide formulation on top of this biopsy we reduce that those those inflammatory cytokines down to pretty much zero We've shown this with a dose of 100 nanograms per mil, which is tiny. So we've shown it works and we've shown it works at a very tiny dose. Um, this is what we imagine, we, this is what we're looking for investment to develop is into a fabulous cream that just feels great when you put it on the skin. I think it should be a cool, rapidly absorbed cream this will deliver the nanoparticles into onto the skin, which will deliver the peptides into the skin and uptake it into the cells. This will reduce the inflammation. And because it feels fantastic when you put this on, you'll want to put it on even when the disease has gone, because the data says, the cell data says, will stop the disease coming back. And if you keep using it, the science says, inflammation is the cause of senescence, is the cause of aging, and we should delay the aging of the skin. Um, so hence, our new peptide formulation will potentially 
cure atopic dermatitis, but also could significantly de delay aging of the skin and so reduce surgery. We've built a fabulous team around, around, around ourselves in Carousel Bio. Uh, John Nicholson is our chairman. He's been um, in the area for a long time. He had actually retired and I pulled him back out of retirement because of the excitement of what we're doing. Uh, Anne McKee is based in uh, Jacksonville in Florida and she's our financial expert. And Graham Coombe is our business development um, director who's actually based in Oxford in the UK. We are a very uh, di diverse and spread out team because we came through the pandemic and that's uh, through Zoom was the way that we've happened and that's the way we do now. Um, we've got some fantastic ad advisors. Uh, Professor Anne Dickinson is our inflammation and atopic dermatitis expert from Newcastle University. Professor Yvonne Perry is our formulation in the lipid nanoparticle formulation expert. Uh, Professor Tony Sedgw Sedgwick is our development expert that helps us. Uh, Priya is our commu uh, communication expert and Dave's our IT and um, website and all that sort of thing expert, uh, things that I need other people to do. Uh, fabulous traction we've got. We've gained three patents. Um, as I said earlier, US, Europe and Japan. China is pending. We've submitted another patent and we've got another one in preparation. We've completed our cellular studies. We've shown in biopsies from atopic dermatitis that the formu formulation works topically. And although I, atopic dermatitis is the target market at the moment. There are many other large market opportunities such as inflammatory bowel disease, scar reduction. We've got lots of other areas that we could go into after we've achieved success in our focus. We know that big pharma are excited with what, we do, what we're doing. I've spoken with Merck and with Pfizer. They're very excited, but they need us to actually be in the clinic. Um, so that's where I'm looking for help to get us there. We're looking for a total of 1.5 million over the next year to get us to develop the formulation and to um, get to pre-IND stage. Um, we'll then look for a further 7.5 million to get us through all of the IND, including toxicology, um, GMP manufacture and stability, and regulatory approval for clinical trials. And then a further 25, 30 million, of course, to get us to clinical proof of concept. Our current investor, who are Deep Bridge Capital, have strongly indicated that they will reinvest in this early round. We need more to help to bring them on board. And this is where we need your this is where we need your help. So final slide. Um, we're addressing an enormous market because there is a significant gap in that market. Topical steroids work. They're toxic. That's why there's many companies trying to find a new safe topical medicine topical steroid it's a big market we've shown that our topical our peptide works when applied topically to human atopic dermatitis biopsies it not only switches off inflammation it prevents the activation of inflammation and daily application of a fabulous cream which the early investment will help us to develop will treat the flare you keep treating, it will prevent it from coming back. And if you keep treating, you will delay the aging of the skin. For most other approaches are small molecules, as I've said. Um, the peptide approach will be safe. The topically anti-inflammatory approach is both novel and scientifically proven. And we can transform the way that these patients are treated and also delay aging of the skin. Thank you very much. And that's it. I'm open to questions. Uh, listen, Mike, when uh, when we hear your pitch, uh, we all feel uh, younger, <laughs> one or <laughs> another, even through the screen, you know, <laughs> your passion just uh, uh, went through uh, the, the media all around the world. I mean, I, 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 I it, it sounds like almost if it's too good to be true as a story. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, it does, but it is true. We've got the science all behind it to back up what I've said. Yes. <laughs> Here is a question I got uh, from the audience, uh, and and 
I think I think you laid down uh, the answer, but I, I'm not an expert on the medical field, so I'm sorry to ask the question bluntly. Okay. The question was, you know, how do you ensure that there is no side effect? And I, I think the way I understand it is is probably the the clinical uh, mark that you need to reach that. Uh, big pharma are looking for to make sure that indeed there are no side effects. But that's my understanding. You know, 20 million to get there is a very expensive price. <laughs> but can you share some light for us? Uh, yes, of course, of course. We will be safe. We know this because the way that the peptide, where the peptide binds has been shown before to work, but they got problems because of where it bound the small molecules bind on the enzyme that we target we bind what's called allosterically different from where the where the small molecules bind because we bind in a different area we also block the phosphorylation so we block the activation of inflammation we will be safe because we will be topical as in will be applied as a fantastic cream and we've shown that even if it's absorbed into the skin, this, this topical peptide, even if it's absorbed into, into the circulation, it's instantly broken down into naturally occurring amino acids, which is what the peptide, the small protein is made from. It will not reach the liver. It can't reach the liver. Oh, we've got to prove all of this. I know that. But I, well, I have put my house on it, but I put my house on it, I think. <laughs> Listen, Mike, even with my French accent, I knew this peptide had something special. So uh, we are really exciting to have you with us. And, and we are sure that uh, we are going to follow you moving forward because your, your fantastic cream is something that uh, I think a lot of people will want to, to taste as soon as you have that uh, under control, uh, including uh, in China. I, I wish you all the best for that, for that patent number four. And uh, very much looking forward to, to, to see you in our network and see you how you progress moving forward. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much, Stefan. Thank you. It was Mike uh, Davis, the CEO of uh, Carousel Bio and uh, with a fantastic product uh, out there. Thank you so much. Bye now. Thanks ever so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.